Pre-assembly preparation. The sections of the KLM bus bar trunking system are delivered to the installation site in factory packaging, on pallets or in cases. The packing lists indicate the items contained inside. Tags on sections indicate the parameters of the bus bar trunking system. The drawing of the bus bar trunking system route and the design of the facility must be studied carefully. Junction units must not be placed in floor, ceiling assemblies or in interior partitions of a building. Care must be taken to ensure that the bus bar trunking system is assembled according to the approved drawing unless the contract supervisor indicates otherwise. Special attention must be paid to proper location of the conductors in all sections of the route, including where sections of the bus bar enter electrical panels. Assembly of bus bar trunking system sections. Connect the sections of the bus bar trunking system using a junction unit consisting of aluminum or copper plates insulated from each other, insulators, clamping plates, bolts with spring-loaded washers, and top, bottom, and two side covers with plugs. Carefully inspect the current conducting parts of the bus bar trunking system sections and junction units. Clean them using a soft cloth and petroleum solvent or similar. Compounds containing alkalis and other solvents should not be used. When installing sections of the bus bar trunking system, make sure that the junction units are aligned. Position the ends of the current conducting buses 30 millimeters apart from each other. Attach the two side covers and one bottom cover of the junction unit using the bolted connections. In this step, the bolts must be hand tightened so that there is a gap between the side covers and the housing. Check the components of the junction unit to ensure there is no damage and that the junction unit insulators are intact. There must be no cracks or chips. Remove the plugs from the side covers of the junction unit. Install the junction unit. Make sure that the contact plates fit tightly against the current conducting parts of the connecting sections. Standard assembling requires uniform and tight contact of the contact plates. Tighten the junction unit clamping bolts in rotating sequence while holding the bolts fast from the other side. This procedure should be performed with a torque spanner in four stages using the following torque settings. In the first stage, the torque spanner should be set to 20 newton meters. In the second, to 40. In the third, to 60. And in the fourth, it should be set to 80 newton meters. For a distribution bus bar trunking system, the clamping bolts must be tightened in increments of 10 newton meters until a torque of 60 newton meters is achieved. The clamping bolts must not be tightened using a standard spanner. Doing so may cause failure of the junction unit.